Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a miniature village in Photoshop using Tilt Shift. I'm also going to provide you with this image so that you can work along with me. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a miniature village look in Photoshop. We're going to use the Tilt Shift tool, which is a really cool tool. It's really fun to use. I've also got the image for this so you can work along with me. It's in the description of this video. Really fun tutorial. You're going to love it. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is the end result. This is what it's going to look like when we're finished. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning so that we can start again. Let's just go back to here like that. And here's the image that we're going to use. Now, the first thing you want to do is turn your image into a smart object. So you right click on that background layer and you go convert to smart object just like that. And we do that so that we make non-destructive moves and so that we can go back and correct the tilt shift if we need to a bit later. So once you've done that, you're going to go to filter, you're going to go to blur gallery and you're going to go to tilt shift. Just like that. And then it's a matter of playing around and getting the effect that you want. So firstly, you've got these two lines here. So these, this line here, you just click and drag it up and down, same with this one here. And that determines what area in the image is going to look sharp, i.e. the middle bit here. Then you've got this line here, and that determines the gradient of the blurness. So if I go right the way up the top, you can see that it's not that blurry at all. But if I pull it back down, I've got a very short gradient of blurriness so I'm going to pull that up and pull that up and I'm going to have a nice small because it works well for these miniature sort of vintage village look if you've got a small sliver that's sharp like that maybe bring that down slightly more and yeah that's fine like that then in the middle here if you click and drag this circular thing here you can see that the blur number is changing so you can make it really, really blurry if you want to, or you can just adjust it to how you want. And I think it's going to be roughly around about there for us. Then if you hover your cursor over this circle here and you see it goes into like, um, like a curve, you can twist it, click and hold and you can twist it. So I quite like the fact that it goes through this bridge. So I'm going to twist it like that and then I may even make that a little bit smaller just like this. Now if you want to see it without all of these lines you just press Control and H and that hides all of them lines for you. And I press Control and H again and it brings it back just like that. So let's just hide that and actually that looks quite nice and you can play around with this however you want to you can also play around with it up here as well so you can do the blur thing up here and you can preview it by clicking and clicking off of this tick box here but let's put the blur back to where I was round about there once you're happy with it click OK and then it pops back up in Photoshop and down the bottom here this is why we was using a smart object because now I can hide it if I want to, if I want to have a quick look. But then if I'm not happy, I just double click on the blur gallery and it brings it back up again. I press Ctrl and H to bring up all of my lines and I can adjust it and do what I want there as well. And that's it. Let's click OK again. And there is our final piece. Brilliant. And there you go guys, a really, really fun tutorial to do in Photoshop and a very easy one to do as well. Don't forget you've got the image, so play around and have some fun with it. Please support us at the School of Photography. It really, really helps us out and you can do that just by subscribing, sharing the videos, liking the videos 
and that really helps us out and it enables us to make more tutorials for you for free so please please uh, support us i would really really appreciate that come and see us over at the school of photography.com as well we've got loads of free stuff for you and photography education and also check us out on our social media sites where there's lots of learning photographers just like you on our facebook page instagram page and twitter thanks for watching and remember learn more at the school of photography mm -hmm.